right. May not have 150 people watching this one, but we'll see. It's okay. So here we go. Nagy on Sports, Phil Nagy here, Kit Manning, the chat as always. And we are going to start our new project here. This is all leading up to 2020 and leading up into um, the uh, new Madden coming out here at the end of August. So our last or next project, our last project of this game with Madden 20 will be to replay the 2019 season with one big change and that is Kevin Stefanski and his scheme on the sideline. Um, and there will be no Freddy Kitchens anywhere. Other than that, the roster is exactly the same. We haven't touched anybody else. We made very, very, very few changes. Um, the biggest being we needed a fullback because Stefanski's offense needs a fullback and the Browns didn't currently employ one on their roster. So we traded to get rid of Britton Colquitt for the Scottish Hammer and so we traded Colquitt to the um, Broncos actually and got Janovic who's only rated as 72. So we got a, pre a one year preview of Janovic um, but just interesting going back to see where Madden and where the NFL thought the Browns were at the beginning of 2019. They definitely thought they had potential for sure. Um, and so we'll see if Stefanski um, will have done, could have done a better job with that exact same talent. So the kitchen is full of Freddie Kitchens' ingredients, but we're not going to let Freddie cook the meal this year. So here it is, 2019, week one. This game ended 43-13 Tennessee. Let's see if the Browns can do better here today. Seibert back to kick it off, and we're underway in 2019 with Nagy on Sports. Our full game, full simulation. He's going to get ripped down right there on the tackle. That's Dion Lewis returning the kicks. And here he is, interestingly enough, remember at the beginning of last year, Marcus Mariota was still the quarterback. Remember Tannehill didn't come till the middle of the year, and he's actually rated, you can see, as a 79. Tannehill's rated a 73, so I had forgotten. Kishin, welcome. So here we go again. You're going to see guys like Joe Schobert, Christian Kirksey, Sheldon Richardson, Money Mitch. Turn around, give the ball to Derrick Henry, left side, Kirko misses the tackle, and then Schobert cleans it up there. Joe Schobert there on the tackle after Christian Kirksey started again. There he is. Hey, look at 78. We know he can't hold up if you pass rush him, Miles. Derrick Henry, Deion Lewis, look how much shorter he is than him. And again, the emergence of A.J. Brown has not yet happened. He's actually like the fourth or fifth receiver on the depth chart for the Titans. Two tight ends left, actually three tight ends out. They're going to go across the middle. It's got quickly and then ripped to the ground. That's Corey Davis and Joe Schobert makes the tackle. Yes, Kishin, the only difference is that Stefanski with his scheme and the playbook that we tweaked for him in our sim that just ended, that's the only difference. Everything else is almost exactly the same with a couple of diff just a couple of little roster changes like we added a fullback and then I picked up a another running back from free agency just because I couldn't remember if the game was going to bench hunt or not. We won't find out until we play if they bench hunt or not. And if they don't, then we will self bench hunt because we wanted to try to be as realistic as possible here. So yep, pretty much virtually the same. Lots of, oh boy. One of these gimmicky formations with three linemen out to the right side. They're going to go ahead and hand it off up the middle. That's Deion Lewis. He's got a big hole and he spins down. He's going to be ripped down by Terrence Money Mitchell there. 13 yards and a first down for Deion Lewis. Again, beautiful day in Cleveland. If you remember the real game. Yep, exactly, Kishin. The, one, the guy D. Podesta wanted even a year ago. 
So this is going to kind of be a game of shoulda, woulda, coulda. Can they do better than 6 and 10? That will be how we divert our attention and get ourselves ready for 2020 to start for real with the new version of Madden. Five-step drop, Marcus Mariotti's gonna zip it across, it's caught, nice window there in front of superstar Denzel Ward, but that one is caught for a first down. And that's Tajay Sharp, the second receiver. Now they're gonna go inside again, Deion Lewis, he's gonna get ripped down in the middle, but he's a little nicked up now, Deion Lewis. He's gonna be injured there. That looked like another tackle for Joe Schobert. Something tells me Joe Schobert's gonna get a lot of tackles here this 2019 season. And he's on the sideline, so we know he's in, at least for now. Um, I mean, hindsight, I, I'm definitely fine that we didn't get him. I would say he was probably my favorite during the middle of the season. Sounds like Kit was not a fan. In the middle of the season, he was kind of like, or like the middle of the coaching search, it was kind of like, yeah, I would take McDaniels. Again, because I, I think he could have made, I think he could create a system to make Baker successful. Um, but I didn't like the fact that he had punked the Colts and like, I mean like, he had some character things that I wasn't a huge fan of, I guess. But the first couple times I heard Stefanski talk, I was like, oh yeah, this is the dude. This is the right guy. Blitz coming, blitz coming, they got him! Ripped down, that's Larry Ogunjobi! Sacked back at the 23 yard line, Ogunjobi is first of the campaign. And that Joe Woods defense, that Joe Woods defense that came. Oh, Bruce Arians? Well that was when we were looking at Hugh Jackson, I think. When Bruce Arians was a finalist. We're gonna try a field goal, kick is up. Kick is good, Ryan Suckup. Flew flying across the middle there, almost got it, Terrence Money Mitch. Three, nothing Texans. Oh, I see, they looked at Arians again this offseason after Arizona let him go. I think he's just too old, honestly. And I don't know if he's the right coach for this team. He's a coach for a group of like grizzled veterans, kind of like the Buccaneers who are ready to take that next step. If you ever watched any of those, like uh, any of those, whatever Amazon Prime's version of um, Hard Knocks is, I'm trying to, like, All or Nothing or something like that. That was a pretty good show. Anyway, they did the Cardinals and it was kind of like, whoa, Arians is definitely like a player's coach for sure. I don't think he would have worked well for this roster. Anyway, Chubb starts the game with a run up the middle. Let's find out right here. Is that Chubb in the backfield or is that Hunt? That is Hunt. Okay, so the game did. Oh, ball's out. <laughs> it's picked up. So right away, first carry of the game for Hunt, who shouldn't be in the game. And he fumbles the football. So, note to self, bench Hunt. Gonna try to stay true to reality so he will miss the next eight weeks. Baker with a nice tackle there though. Yes, you're right. So we'll make a note of that. Titans get the football right back. So, so far 2019 starting out exactly how I remember, except that if I remember that game correctly, the Browns drove right down the field. Just air, let's just, just a raucous adventure of offense. And then they scored a quick touchdown. Everybody's like, oh my God, Super Bowl. And then the wheels fell off. So again, welcome Nagy on Sports. We have gone back in time now. There's the defense for the Browns. Uh, we are going to recreate the 2019 season. Oh, Jannard Avery, how I've missed you. Recreate the 2019 season to see how we, uh, to see how we could have done if Kevin Stefanski, his multiple zone scheme offense, and therefore Joe Woods' 4-3, cover three defense would have done had the Browns been able to pull the trigger one year earlier on Kevin Stefanski. <laughs> if you, welcome Jay, welcome View. Already getting the shakes without having your weekly dose. And touchdown wide open, there's Humphreys on the right side. He was wide open. 
and already a quick 10-0 lead. Ouch indeed. Again, you guys hopped on Kareem Hunt, who shouldn't be in the game, but is, because I don't know why Madden doesn't think his suspension exists, but I will bench him after this game. Um, but he fumbled on his first carry on the previous drive, and that's what set him up on a short field. And Adam Humphreys into the end zone. Marcus Mariota still the quarterback here. Again, he didn't lose his job until the middle of the season to Tannehill, so the emergence of Ryan Tannehill may never actually happen as he's rated quite a bit lower than uh, Marcus Mariota is, at least, again, at the beginning of the game. It's very interesting to see where Madden thought everybody was going to be, you know, fully knowing what happened um, after that. And, of course, as we have played the Titans before, getting down to the Titans and just letting Derrick Henry battering ram you to death is not the best option for playing the game. Chubb back out on the field. One carry for seven yards, and then the second carry went to Kareem Hunt, and he got tackled. Yeah, I'm welcome to see how it see how it plays out as well, Jay. We thought it would be kind of a fun way to, basically we're just killing time now until Madden 20 comes out. There goes Kareem Hunt left side. The second carry, at least he holds on to the football, he's going to get nine. Correct. Oh, I promise. Freddy is gone. We made Kitch we made the fan skis the same look as we had. Same exact scheme, same exact playbook. Still using our custom playbooks with our custom game plan. Oh, Baker tried to spin. He's going to go out of the backfield. There's Jarvis Landry. Excuse me, Nick Chubb, who's a superstar. No better way to kill time. Exactly. Killing time until the new Madden comes out. Then there won't have to be any more guessing about what he looks like or what his scheme is going to be. Madden will already have all that in there, and we'll do our once-a-week sim to accompany the real regular season. So it'll swing pass out of the backfield. Yeah, that was nuts. I, 148, 150 or so, and then, yeah, almost 1,100 comments. It was crazy. It was a crazy night last night. Look at Taquan Jones just leaping on top, joining Jarrell Casey. Welcome, Lydell. I hope we win this one, too. I think we're going to win a lot more than six games, to be honest. Freddie was that bad. Daquan Jones just hops on top of Jarrell Casey. Yes, and you're right, you. I doubt we'll see 30,000 penalties like there were. Were there like 19 penalties or something in that game? Hey, Tom. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to our replay of 2019. Oh, Baker still spins and sacks, though. Brett Urban, third and 18 coming up. Tom, did you get a chance to watch the Super Bowl from last night yet, brother? Yep. We still can't engineer the, the Baker spin and sack out a bench of, uh, uh, at least. Haven't been able to figure it. Uh, sorry, buddy. Well, it will brighten your spirits. We'll say that's all we'll say. It was a good game. Across the middle, he's got his man for a first down. What a catch by Taewon Taylor. Again, that cut down day trade with these Titans. Holy moly. That was an incredible catch for Taewon Taylor, who comes into this game as the third receiver behind Jarvis and OBJ. Look at that catch, great camera work right in front of Logan Ryan. No worries, Michael, all good. We're glad that you're here. Just a fun way here to divert some time till the new Madden game comes out. So we're going back and replaying 2019. <laughs> Sit down, Kareem Hunt. Jarrell Casey just ate him. There they are, the much maligned. As you can see, we did opt to move Drew Forbes to the starting right guard. And Josh Adams is uh, the running back I picked up off of free agency to play backup. Uh, no, we're putting Forbes in there because Forbes is a better scheme fit for the zone scheme. Across the middle, wide open! Jarvis Landry with his first catch of 2019. It's a 23-yarder and a first down, down to the 14. Oh yeah, that was a crazy, 
I know, training camp, baby. Saw those pictures of the guys getting in the camp. Yeah, when Robinson kicked that dude in the face, I was like, oh my gosh. Here we go, strong eye formation. That was a 23-yarder. Left side, Chubb. He's got some room. He's going to make a cut. Bang cut down to the one. He fumbles. No! He fumbles into the end zone. Are you kidding me? Come on! Madden hating already, knowing that we fresh off the Super Bowl. Left side, look at this sweet blocking, sweet run. Was he any in any possible way? Was he down? What is happening, View? You're right. I think there's a chance he had that hip down. Come on, Booth Review. Be good to us. Stop it, Kishin. Bring Freddie back. There's the booth review. Come on now. The previous play is under review. Oh, Stuckishin, you are, you are brutal. Oh, his, his knee is definitely down. Look at that. One knee, two knees, ankle. He's way down. If only Biners could have been reviewable. No fumble, here we go, nice play, good job refs. First and goal from the one. Two tight ends in the game. Right up the middle, Chubb, he's gonna try to angle it left side, he's gonna lose two. Man, running inside the three is so hard, especially with this, this offensive line that we have. Treader's good and Petonio is good. That's about it. Njoku not going to block. Demetrius Harris, I forgot about him. 6-7 on the outside there. Joe Schobert on the sideline. Does he know it's his last year in Cleveland? Watch the run, watch the run. We go inside, hand off again, right side, touchdown! Kareem Hunt, he walks right in. Again, I thought the game was going to be smart enough to bench him, so we will bench him after this game, but can't fix it now. Welcome, Jack. Did those files upload to your PlayStation okay, Jack? And yes, we did trade for Janovic a year early. That was that was the one play, that was the one thing we did do, view. We uh, we said, let's get a fullback, and I said, what the hell, let's trade. I mean, he's a 72, so we traded the Broncos for him one year early. But yes, because there was no fullback on the roster, so you get a one-year you get a one-year preview of Janovic. Okay, cool. Just let me know if there's any issue with them. I've never tried that before. Hopefully, it will be pretty easy there for you, Jack. Yes, we brought Michael. We brought the exact same offensive scheme that you watched win the Super Bowl last night. Same coach. Same face, same scheme, same playbook and game plan. Welcome, Calvin. Welcome to our 2019 replay. Beautiful day in the land there, though. Sky cam. Get out of here with that sky cam. So realistic. Here we go. Marcus Mariota under center. He's got three tight ends to the left. Derrick Henry alone in the backfield. They're going to turn around. Nope, they're going to fake it to Henry. Now he's going to swing it to the right side. He's got his open man. That's the tight end, Delaney Walker. Again, Jonu Smith has not emerged as a star. For them just yet. So it's been interesting to go back and look at, like, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I forgot about Christian Kirksey. I forgot about Morgan Burnett, like the guys who got hurt in the middle of the season for us. Yes, this is a, a Freddy, a Freddy list operation in 2019. Basically, like, here's what you could have done had you not screwed it up by listening to John Dorsey. Right side, Delaney Walker is going to get ripped down by Joe Schobert. So Mariota now six for six, 80 yards to start the football game. We're going to stretch it left side. That is Derrick Henry. He makes a juke move. Uh-oh, he's gone. So Derrick Henry is still very good at football. Touchdown, Titans. 50 yards. Whoo. Dang. That was a sweet 
bang cut if we have ever seen one. Also, make sure you check out Kit's new videos. He, uh, or video, he just dropped it last night about the play action pass game that will work off of the zone scheme, which his first two videos are about. So that was a, uh, whew. That thing happened for real. Yes, you're right. Derrick Henry, 50 yard touchdown run. He's a good running back, that's for sure. 50 yard touchdown run there for the former Alabama Crimson Tide running back. Up the middle, gonna be ripped down at the 24. That's Don Trail Hilliard returning kicks, yep. Man, that's one thing as I was putting together the depth chart, there are like nobody that can return punts and kicks on this rot on the way that they currently had it rot. Like they totally just neglected, so excited about that with DPJ and Natson in 2020 at least. Um That's a good question, Kishan. I'll have a think about it. Go, Chubb, go! Um nice run for Nick Chubb there. 14 up the middle, 15 actually. Um, but yeah, we will definitely um, bench him because he came back after the bye week. So maybe because it was only going to be eight weeks, but it ended up having to be nine. So I'll just go ahead and continue to bench him until the end of the bye week. And again, I'm not sure if I can guarantee that he won't play completely, but I'll put him at the bottom of the depth chart so he won't get in unless there's something very wrong. So just to get an extra free week. Finally seeing the defense for the first time. Dory Jackson, Logan Ryan, Kevin Byard, of course, very talented. Kenny Vaccaro. Baker out of the shotgun now, second Let's and five. <laughs> Still just the first quarter left. Uh, inside zone, left side. That's Kareem Hunt, and now he's hurt. Well, the game might do it for us. Well. Maybe Madden knew all along. He goes to the locker room, and he does. So there you go. Yeah, our tackles are brutal, Kishin. Brutal. Well, there you go. So the game just did it for us. Stretch it to the right side. There's Chubb. He's going to make a cut. He's going to fall forward. He's going to be real darn close. Did he get it? No, fourth and inches. Dang. All right. So Browns are going to punt our first chance to see the Scottish Hammer, who didn't exist when the roster started. For some reason, the actual Madden roster did not include Jamie Gillen, which is a darn shame, so we had to create him. And he comes out to punt the football here is the Scottish Hammer. Don't worry, I made him have a sweet tackling rating because in real life he's sweet at tackling. Sweet punt for the Hammer out at the nine-yard line for Jamie Gillen. Yep, it'll be interesting to see how the Joe Woods 4-3 cover three again. 50-yard touchdown from Derrick Henry notwithstanding at this point. Mariota in the shotgun. Right side, he's got a wide open man. That's Tajay Sharp over there. Seven for seven now for Mariota, slinging the football around. Marius Randall showing blitz now. A little motion across, they're going to let him go. Turn around, give the football to Derrick Henry. He's going to blow it right up the middle. Sheldon Richardson meets him and rips him to the ground there. In the middle again, ripped down. Yeah, I think so too, Sean. I just think that they, to them, linebackers kind of like the running back of the defense like we'll always just be able to find cheaper miles garrett got him his first sack of 2019 for miles garrett and it comes in a big third down forcing the punt yeah they just weren't going to pay they weren't going to pay for showbert unfortunately because i like joe showbert i think he's a great player but uh 
I think they have determined, analytics would say that they are sort of the running backs of the defense, and so you can always find them in the draft and never overpay for them. Now, it'll be interesting to see if they follow that with Nick Chubb. Yes, for instance, if that was the contract that they offered Jack Conklin, <laughs> interesting play for Jarvis there, jumping out of bounds get to ready, save the football. Um, you know, if that was the contract that they used for Jack Conklin um, or Carl Joseph or something like that, you know what I mean? It'll be interesting to, uh, you know, be like, yeah, we had the Schobert contract. We offered, we opted to give it to Austin Hooper instead, you know, that kind of a thing. Here we go, right side off tackle. He is not going to get past the tackles there. David Njoku, not the blocker that Austin Hooper and Harrison Bryant are. I think you're back to pass. He's going to fire right side. It's caught and then knocked out of his hands hard. That was Taewon Taylor from the right. That thing was drilled out of his hands. I'm excited, Kishin. I, uh, I hope Baker's ready to have a, a great year. There's Chubb. He's got to break a lot of tackles, and he does not. So another third and long leads to a punt here. Right side, Nick Chubb. Kenny Vaccaro makes a nice tackle in open space. Gosh, this first quarter has taken forever. 2019 is so long. Yes, Taylor is in there as the uh, kick returner. I still has Jarvis in as the punt returner, which they would do from time to time. Whoa, little juke move, second juke move, and he's going to get ripped down by Petonio and Janovic. Here we go, here we go. Dion Lewis up to the 43. And Marcus Mariota comes out again. We are still in the first quarter. This is crazy. Mac became a run stuffer X Factor as we went into the future, but I think last year he certainly made the splash plays, pass coverage with his interceptions and stuff. I think he's athletic. I think he could probably do both. They said he could play all three spots, so. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Here we go, bunch of formation here, a little ace. They're going to go left side. Derrick Henry is going to get momentum behind him. He's going to push the pile, and I think he got a first down. Just another big hole created by that line. Also, Taylor Lewan still in the game. Interest. Remember, he was suspended for the first four games last year as well. Five step drop pressure coming from Miles, but he gets the ball off just in time and he hits Delaney Walker across the middle. Morgan Burnett brings him down. Marcus Mariota, eight for eight. Uh, in the game, Michael, he actually is. Yeah, he's rated a 91, and Chubb only came into the game as an 85. Now, Chubb's a superstar, and Hub is not. Hunt is not. But yes, when the game came out, the, the, uh, the mythical Nick Chubb was still growing. Across the middle. That's Jonu Smith there, and he's got another first down. Nine for nine for Marcus Mariota. Here we go. Finally, the end of the first quarter here. In our 2019 replay of the Browns if they had hired Stefanski instead of Freddie Kitchens. Man, I hope so. I, I literally like um, Mac Wilson as well. I hope he turns into a stud for us. Right side. That time he gets a tackle quickly. Morgan Burnett coming up from the strong safety spot. Turn around again. Just give it to him again. This time he's going to bang forward. Jannard Avery on the tackle there. Joe Schobert in the vicinity as well. Gosh, I can't believe Dorsey traded Jannard Avery. That, that's, the, that's it. Miles got him. Third and seven. Second sack of the day for Miles Garrett. He got him back to the 24-yard line, so that's going to push that field goal attempt back a little bit further for Ryan Suckup. And already, Miles Garrett has beaten Jack Conklin twice for sacks. We know that that's possible. Coming after it. 
They do. Miles in the zone as well. Kick is up. Kick is good for suck up. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Andrew Berry tries to get him back. Remember, Andrew Berry was in Philly last year to receive Gennard Avery. It'll be interesting to see if they kind of sneakily try to get him back on the roster, maybe. That's okay, Keith. You've missed a lot of Tennessee touchdowns as the 2019 Browns try to do better than they did in 2019. Replaying the season with Kevin Stefanski, his scheme, his likeness, and almost the exact same roster, uh, with the exception of we added Janovic one year earlier because they needed a fullback and I filled a couple of roster holes with other players. Across the middle, there's a good play there. That's the first time seeing David Njoku catch the football. Speaking of receivers, where is Odell Beckham, by the way? I know he's at the top of the screen. You can just see his X underneath him, but like, where is he at? Right side out of the backfield. Oh, just jacked as he tried to catch the football. Ooh, that one was scary there. That was Njoku again. A little motion from right to left from Taewon Taylor. Five step seven step drop. They're going to go across the middle and it's just batted away by Logan Ryan. So Browns go three and out again. Stopped running the football. Taewon Taylor, I think maybe maybe Najoku was the intended receiver, but that ball was jumped. That route was jumped. And Jamie Gillen going to punt this football again away. Uh, yeah, that would be super scary if we got to 6 and 10 again. That would be nuts. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, checked up at the 1. Nope, now into the end zone. Good try. Out kicked everybody. Gil the Scottish hammer. Love it. Those flowing locks. All right. Marcus Mariota, you know, a typical Mariota day. Nine for nine, a buck 19 and a touchdown. Come on. That's not real. Miles in the zone, though, across from Jack Conklin now. Beats him around the outside, but it gave rid of it quickly, and Denzel Ward. Gosh, I forgot they had Ward as a superstar. They nerfed the heck out of him over the course of the season, too. Good tackle for Ward there very quickly on Corey Davis on the right side. Oh, I made sure. I had to make him. He wasn't even in the game view. I had to make him, and I absolutely gave him the mullet. Right up the middle, Derrick Henry is going to run into the middle of the line. Christian Kirksey got him, took him to the ground. Outside, got him, hit as he throws, but that ball is incomplete, I think it is. Wow, Deion Lewis caught the football, but he was out of bounds. There's the Vrabes, the ageless mustache of Mike Vrabel. Yeah, because you assume they have to finalize the roster, what, a month or something before the game comes out? I don't know. So they assumed why in the world would your an all-pro punter, Britton Colquitt, lose his job to some <laughs> undrafted rookie who only played punter for two years at college at Arkansas Pine Bluff. Yeah, smile. This is the this was a, this is what Madden thought, and we think that Miles could and should be before the season started. And then they just nerfed the hell out of him after his suspension. All right, come on. We need some points here, Browns. Chubb. He's going to go right up the middle. He's going to get ripped down. He's going to get four. Tackle there in the middle. That's right, that rookie's the hammer. Come on, man. I mean, they had Cybert in the game. I guess Cybert got drafted, but and Greg Joseph kind of sucked. Spin and sack, Cameron Wake. Got him. Second of the day for the Titans in another third and very long coming up. Browns just cannot get any rhythm going so far, and these tackles are brutally bad. Look at Chris Hubbard. Just look out. I suck. Cameron Wake just murdered Baker there. Gosh. Five, five, five. Here we go. Let's 
Baker out of the shotgun. He's got time. He's going to float it left side. It's caught. It's Jarvis in the gap. 21-yard gain on third and 14. We'll take it. Two big catches now for Juice. The Browns nearing midfield finally. That ball was floated up there for a long time. Lucky that Bayard was just a tiny, tiny bit late getting there. Otherwise, we've seen that play before where that gets knocked out at the attempt of the catch. Now, come on. Give the, let's get OBJ going. Let's go. Right side. He's got it in the gap. That's Taylor again. Caught and then knocked down at the 50. They're going to give him nine. Um, I think people had mentioned that because they heard Bill Callahan's um, presser in the offseason and he talked about taking tackles that weren't very good and making them guards like in the history of his coaching he had done that successfully a few times and because there's still really no answer at right guard um, I think for this coming season there is a chance you could see Chris Hubbard move inside alright third and two three tight ends or no excuse me two tight ends left side Baker's going to throw out of it. Blitz coming. Right side. He's got his man. It's wide open. David Njoku down and inside the 30 to the 29. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Yeah, Kush actually. Kush got cut. We cut Kush. You. He didn't even make this roster. We opted to go with Forbes because of his own blocking prowess over a teller. And Kush got cut. All right, here we go. First down inside the 30 now. Let's keep it rolling here. Need some points. Baker back to pass. He's got a little bit of time. He's going to spin. He's going to throw it to the right side. It's going to get caught by Taylor. What year is this hardcore game? It's 2019. We went back in time. No, I agree, John. I, I think uh, I just meant for this 2019 season we chose to run Drew Forbes at right guard. I think Chris Hubbard has a real chance of actually being the right guard when the season starts. Cross the middle. He's got it. That's Demetrius Harris. He's down inside the 13. First down, Browns. Yeah, hardcore. We went back in time because we finished our 2022 season last night. And so we... Uh, we um, went back and we're going to do in 2019 again as if Kevin Stefanski had been hired with his scheme and his playbook. And um, so that's what we're doing. This is week one. As long as it's better than 43-13, we're on the right track. Baker back to pass. He's going to go left side. He's got his man. A little bit of room. Can he do it? He can. Touchdown. David Njoku. Come on. Do the chief slam. Do it. Oh, he's just going to celebrate with Batonio. I've never actually seen the Joku do the Chief Slam. It's all good, John. It's hard to I get confused, too. David Njoku, touchdown, Browns. Look at him outrun Wesley Woodyard there. And absolutely, the Browns needed that, that touchdown there. In a huge way, they needed that touchdown. There's the rookie, Austin Seibert. Kick is up, kick is good. Absolutely needed that. 76 yards, just about four minutes to do it. Kevin Stefanski over there high-fiving, getting after his guys over there, getting excited with the boys. Cyber kicks it away. Deion Lewis, he's going to be about five yards deep. He's going to take it straight up the middle. He's going to get ripped down just outside the 20, 24, call it. Great tackle there from Eric Murray. Welcome, Painter. Let's go. 2019 replay. Would Stefanski have done better? That is the question that has spurred on this entire season's experiment. Here's this goofy lineman out to the right business they're gonna throw quickly out of it miles is out there he's gonna chase him down miles garrett one-on-one -on -one with corey davis let's go delayed handoff that's henry right up the middle nobody there and he bowls his way over the top 
of a young Demir, uh, Demarius Randall there. Sheesh. Remember, he had a 50-yard touchdown, so he's really only a, he's really only 10 for 41. That didn't look so bad. Pick six would be fine. Yes, I could call this the the should have been sim. I'll put that in the uh, in the description for all the videos. What could have been? What should have been? The sweatshirt not gotten in the way. Left side through that hole, and Christian Kirky, Kirksey meets Dion Lewis right away. Pistol. Pressure coming. They pick it up. He's got plenty of time to find Delaney Walker over the middle. Morgan Burnett getting whipped like a rented mule there in pass protect or, uh, pass coverage of Delaney Walker. <laughs> I still hate I still hate Tom Brady hardcore. But yes, this is a year before we lost to him in the Super Bowl. He would still be a Patriot during this season. Yep, exactly what Kit said. Excellent description. Rosters right out of the box. Before anybody got nerfed. Right up the middle. Oh, they're going to fake it. They're going to do a quick little check with me on that RPO, and it's Tajay Sharp, and he's going to get tackled by Denzel Ward at the 35. So Titans driving again. Delayed handoff. Oh, he just knocks down the blitzer, and that gives him time to find Humphreys over the middle. And Marcus Mariota is picking apart this Browns defense. Kirksey was there just a teeny bit late getting over there. TJ Carey had gotten beaten as well by Adam Humphreys in the slot. Money Mitch also in the picture there. All right. 13 personnel, three tight ends. Corey Davis by himself across from Denzel Ward. Bottom of our screen. They're going to turn around. They're going to fake the handoff. Pressure coming, but they all get picked up. So he's going to fire right side, and it's caught. And no, he dropped it. Nice coverage by Denzel Ward. Corey Davis could not corral it for the touchdown. Really nice coverage there by Ward. Browns rush four this time. Great pressure breaking late. Miles got a balls out. Strip sack. Oh, but it's picked up by Luan. you got to be kidding me. Strip sack for Miles is third of the half. And then Taylor Lewan, lucky, picks it up. Sweet strip sack for Miles. Tackled by Jannard Avery there. Gosh. Miles unleashed. He was every bit this good before his timeout. Okay, cool. I'm glad you understand. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. We'll try to make the uh, description of the video more um, two point here. Look at that. 14 of 16. Mariota just chewing us up. But that sack's going to take it far enough back. Where's Delpit when you need him? Well, Michael, Delpit's in the, in the middle of winning the Thorpe Award for the LSU Tigers. Uh, I checked when that happened. View. I think they traded for him right at the, right at the trade deadline. He made he made the initial 53. They traded for him during the preseason. Because I had checked that too. Um, when they got McCray, when they got Teller, all those moves happened during the preseason. Like Duke Johnson was still on this roster, so I made that trade. Um, put him on the Texans. I don't know if they're going to use him, but. I traded him to the Texans for a third round pick. That won't matter because we're not going on this season. All right, here we go. Suckups kicks yet another field goal, his third of the first half here. Four minutes to go. Yeah, that's right, because there was a couple weeks where we were trading guys, and I thought there was like some sort of weird secret ploy to get guys from the teams we were about to play to somehow like learn their jargon or something 
Seven step drop for Baker. He's going to fire it across the middle. That's way over the head of Taewon Taylor. And that ball gets knocked to the ground, luckily. Luckily. Right side, he's got his man. No, he doesn't. Well, he had his man, but he just overthrew him. There's that rare Baker Mayfield complete overthrow. Brings up another third and long. Match formation left side. Chubb's going to leave the package. They're going to go way left side. He's got his man, and he steps out of bounds. Najoku was the check down, and he only got four because he stepped out of bounds because Baker threw that football away. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the leaked the leaked ratings are that Baker's going to come in as a 78 to start the 2021 game. And he's an 84 in this game. They thought, or he started as an 83. I've already upgraded him once after practice. Like, he started as an 83 this year, and they thought he was that bad that they're going to start him as a 78 to start out 2021, if you believe that. The same rating that they gave Joe Burrow, for that matter. So I don't know. I'll have to talk to Kid about that if we want to if we want to boost him up because we think you know he's better than that. But we'll have to see what happens. Part of it's just going to be pulling the box right out, making the roster be pretty close to the real cuts and playing the real games as best we can, trying to recreate reality a week before it happens. Maybe we'll get a whole bunch of, like, degenerate gamblers to, like, watch our streams before and then be like, oh, man, Jarvis Landry had a huge game this week and then, like, put a bunch of money on the prop bets and stuff. That'd be fun. Could become, like, the official sim to get your gambling fix with as realistic as we can make our games. Sims BS this year. Did you see Sims BS? Check it out and get back to me. I'm not sure what you mean by Sims BS. You'll have to be clear with me. I'm not very smart. Good tackle over there on the sideline. That's going to take us to the two minute warning. Oh, Chris Sims. Yeah, no, he's a moron. Yeah, he's, he's in the business of saying ridiculously outlandish things. Oh, yeah, I did see it because Baker's, like, way, way down, isn't it? Oh, broken tackle of war. Watch out, Tajay Sharp. He's going to get down to the 24. Yeah, he. I think his, his entire existence in the media world is to say ridiculously inflammatory things so that everybody calls him an idiot. I just choose not to give him the credence or the time of day. I won't click on that clickbait. Tajay Sharp, though, rare missed tackle there. Denzel was there, and nobody else was close enough. When Denzel slowed him down, Tajay Sharp breaks the tackle. And we are primed for another Ryan Suckup field goal here. 90 seconds to play in the half. Blitz coming. Miles got him again. Number four for Miles Garrett in the game. He is back in the zone. Woo! Miles Garrett, look at that, just whipping Jack Conklin. And that, my friends, is why Jack Conklin got moved to left guard for the playoff run. Four sacks given up now by Conklin on that right side for Tennessee. Hand off to Deion Lewis, and we already know that they have not done any favors to Conklin's rating. Yeah, I would say that's that's pretty that's pretty accurate Keith there's not a lot of people really being journalists anymore it's about clicks and ratings and how inflammatory of a comment can you say and not then not have to go back and apologize and get fired you know hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. back to pass Miles coming again but he's going to get that ball who's over there at the Humphreys touchdown no they're going to get him down at the Let's one go, boy, Titans call timeout what is happening? Shotgun formation for Mariota, 59 seconds. 
Watch out! Tipped! Touchdown. Thought he had the interception. Demarius Randall just gets whipped by Corey Davis. And holy smokes, what is happening? Maybe the Browns really were bad in 2019. Gosh. Randall was there too. Let's go. Touchdown, Titans. Man. Well, we know it won't be 43, 4, 13, because we already have more than 13, but they're 13 away from that 43. Marcus Mariota just chunking, chunking big chunks of yards down the field here. He's looked like freaking Peyton Manning back there. I know, it's weird. I thought for sure it would be better. <laughs> or somehow Madden knew the, oh, that's right. There's already, all the games have been force, force win, and I just didn't notice it. Let's go, baby. Not that I have seen. You mean Antonio Brown? Was he on the Titans? Yeah, Mariota looking like an all-pro. Again, there's Josh Adams. He is the running back I picked up off of free agency to fill in for Kareem Hunt when he has to be out for eight weeks. But then, for some reason, Kareem Hunt wasn't actually out for eight weeks. Hey, his first catch of the game. Oh, uh, AJ, yes. AJ Brown, you mean, not AB. AJ, oh, AB, yes, AJ Brown, yes. Um, he is in the roster, but he hadn't had his, really had his coming out party, so he's like, fourth on the depth chart my bad but yes he is still on the right he is on their roster he just had they didn't know he was good yet when the game came out across the middle he's got Landry again Browns have one timeout left they're down to the 39 let's go hurry it up hurry it up oh that's Demetrius Harris my bad 88 not 80 come on we don't need 10,000 replays of it yeah he was he is really good Madden just didn't know he was very good yet so yeah, there's certainly, there's certainly something to be said for, you know, we could go through and be like, this guy is really good. Like, like Derrick Henry's only rated 85. Nick Chubb's only rated 85. Like, those guys deserve to be way higher than that. Get out of bounds! Oh, they're going to say his knee is inbounds. Brown's going to have to call timeout. That was a bad, bad spot there. They're going to try it. They're going to try it. A 51-yarder from the young rookie, Seibert. Does he have this leg? I'm not super hopeful. Kick is up. Drills it off the upright. We felt that one coming. It was a nice kick. Just clanked off the upright. Boink. Gosh. It really is the Browns. It really, really is the Browns. The Fansky can't believe it. So one play left for the Titans from near midfield. Maybe Mariota's going to give it a heave. Who knows? Nope, delayed handoff to Derrick Henry. Of course, they got a 50-yard gain on that play earlier. He's got 105 for the half after going backwards. I miss the old Browns from yesterday. I know. That was a great team. We had a lot of fun with that team. Kind of felt like our baby. So we kicked them out of the nest winners last night. All right, well... That wasn't an overly inspiring first half of football, if you're a Browns fan. Let's see how good they're going to make Baltimore. Oh, pretty good. 20 to 10 over Fitzmagic. We need to trade for Cox. <laughs> oh, I know. Speaking of Fletcher Cox, his Eagles are down to... Alex Smith, oh my gosh, I forgot about Alex Smith before he broke his leg. Cam Newton, Jared Goff, tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Here's a highlight of that 50-yard touchdown run. Sweet little bang cut and juke, and then he was gone. Out running. All right, here we go. 
30 to 14. Brown's got plenty of time. Just need to put some sustained drives together and really got to get some stops on defense. That's that's what's most important here. All right, here we go. Baker back out onto the field. Seth DeValve, he actually got cut in real life, but we kept him on the roster over Orson Charles. So there's one slight roster deviation. All right, Baker back to pass. He's going to go right side. He's got his man. There's Taewon Taylor. He's going to break a tackle. He's going to go down at the 50. Call it the 49 officially. Taewon Taylor has had a pretty good day playing some football here against his old team in the trade that happened leading up to the game. I don't remember if he played in the game actually at all or if they had, if he was inactive for that game. Doesn't matter at this point. But there is Taewon Taylor. He's going to get tackled there. Excuse me by Kenny Vaccaro. Good play on first down for the Browns coming out of halftime. Here's the inside zone. Hand off Dick Chubb. He's going to be patient. He's going to get all the way up. He's going to get about nine. Second and one coming up here. Strong eye to the right side. Janovic again one year early is the fullback because the roster did not have a fullback. We're going to turn around and give this one right up the middle to Chubb. He's got the first down. Still moving his legs. He's going to get five on first down. Now we see the weak eye formation. Janovic over on the weak side of the formation. They're going to give it to Chubb again. He's going to get caught up on the lineman. Their defensive tackle there, Daquan Jones, kind of pushes that right hand over there. I know it's hard. It's hard, Michael. I feel like that's a common thread we're going to be saying over the next 15 games, too. This been a pretty good team if their offensive line didn't suck so bad. I'm not sure why John Dorsey didn't think that before the season. And yes, the zone blocking should help some. Second and 11. Baker in the shotgun. He's going to go back to pass. He's going to fire across the middle, and it goes right past him. He's going for Beckham. He was well covered. Third and 11 now. Lots of third and longs in this game for the Browns. Blitz coming. He's going to fire right side. He's got his man in traffic. That's Juice again. Landry down to the 17. How many times has Baker kind of floated that ball past the first and second levels? And he just hops right in, gosh, right between three defenders. That is a scary pass for the livelihood of Juice Landry and his family. Every time that's a hospital ball, just waiting for somebody to drill town him. Here we go, 13 personnel, three tight ends in the game. Back to pass, fires it to one of those tight ends. That's Njoku, he's gonna get about eight on first down. Call it seven, actually. Yeah, too bad we can't simu simulate Callahan's influence, yeah. Or just like cheat and get Jedrick Wills and Jack Conklin. Although Jack Conklin's been beat up pretty good today. Four sacks for Miles Garrett in the first half. Seven step drop for Baker. He's gonna He's got Njoku again. First down, Browns to the seven. Here we go. Here Inside we go. the 10 now. Come on, let's get a touchdown, Browns. Base formation, five-step drop out of it. Left side, he's got his man. Touchdown, Seth DeValve. Touchdown, Browns. He does the LeBron powder celebration. Absolutely needed that. Again, Seth DeVal, who didn't even make the real roster in 2019 for whatever reason. Pharaoh Brown and Orson Charles. But we absolutely wanted to keep him because we knew that three tight ends get used in this Stefanski offense, and there's an example of it right there. Seth DeVal, touchdown Browns. Yep, going to go ahead and go for two. Why not? Try to make this an eight-point lead. Beckham alone on the right side. They're going to go back to pass. He throws. It's caught. No dropped. It was right in his hands. Andy Janovic, and it just boinks right out of his hands. 
gosh. Patter there. Baker hit as he threw. That ball bounces right off the hands of Janovic. Boink! Right there. Just couldn't bring it in. All right, so 30 to 20. Already better than 43-13. Now let's try to see if we can get a win. We got to get a stop before we can get a win. I got to can't get ahead of myself here. We got to get a stop on defense. Mariota. He's got time. He's going to fire it across the middle. That's Humphreys who does a juke move and then TJ Carey takes him down. Left side. He's got a huge hole. Derrick Henry just bowling his way down. He's over buck 15 now. Buck 16. Um, Seals Jones came in mid-season. He wasn't on the opening day roster. And I can't remember if they traded for him or if he um, was a free agent. And it was definitely after. Oh, was it only game three? I say, did it coincide with Najoku either getting hurt or getting benched or whatever? I can't remember even remember how ridiculous the Najoku stuff was last year. Good tackle, one on one, Denzel Ward. Man, Derrick Henry, another huge hole right up the middle. Okajobi and Sheldon Richardson Let's just go, getting exposed right now in run defense. Yeah, he did have a big game. That Ravens game was awesome. That was a fun game to watch. Absolute dismantling. Across the middle, waiting for him on the tackle there, but he is going to make the catch. Again, Corey Davis now 20 for 22 for Marcus Mariota. Crazy. Right up the middle, breaking tackles again. Derrick Henry, gosh, he is good. Now the first down, so so much for stopping. The Titans, we need a turnover here or something. Turn around, give it again. This time he's going to get stopped at the line of scrimmage. Gennard Avery, Morgan Burnett, and Denzel Ward all combining to make the tackle. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. That was an awesome play. And that tells you everything you need to know about Nick Chubb. There's their third running back, Barnes, and he's going to get 10 yards in a first down. So right now, Browns cannot stop this running attack of the Titans, which we were worried about. Thank you, Jack. So he claims him off the waivers when the Joker got hurt. Got it. But we'll keep our eyes open for a real spooky seal. Just got him again. It pulls out. Who got it? Oh, another Conklin fell on it, but a fifth sack. Another strip sack for Miles, and again, the Titans fall on it. Uh, I think he's from the Cardinals, right? My recollection is he was on the Arizona. But maybe that was before. Who knows? I don't know. Top of it, but I'm pretty sure it was in Arizona. Fifth sack of the game for Miles Garrett. Ai Chihuahua. Motion coming from Corey Davis. They're going to fake it to him, give it right up the middle, and this time they're going to penetrate. One yard loss. As the entire defense met there, led by Money Mitch and Jannard Avery. Now we can say two former Browns. Or is Money Mitch still on the team? Am I blanking out? Is he still on the team? I can't remember. Or did Kevin Johnson effectively replace Money Mitch? Yeah, baby! Yeah! 
There's that backup running back, Barnes, again. Yeah, he's trying to do his best. I don't know if Cox ever had five in a game. Lenny Mitch is still on the team. Okay. Yes, yeah, Seals Jones is a good player. We can keep our eyes open for Seals Jones and dump the valve for him if you want. I don't care. I don't care. So they're going to hold Suck up to a fourth field goal here today. His kick is up from 22. His kick is good. 33 to 20 here. One more field goal, one more touchdown away from getting their 43 that they got in real life. Brown's already a touchdown better. Hilliard's going to take a new seven minutes and one second remaining. Baker's had a pretty solid day. I wouldn't say we have bad Baker today. He's a superstar after all. Let's go check what a superstar ability is. He's got time. He's going to fire. He's going to check it down to Chubb. He's going to fall forward for eight. Smart play there, don't force anything. Second and two, just stay on schedule. Inside zone here, yep, here we go. Left side, he's gonna beat Casey, first down. Just got across that line, first down Browns. Mike Mike taking care of business at the bottom. Another inside zone, this time he's gonna bowl his way forward for another five yards. So Chubb consistently getting five to six. Across the right to left. Well, that play took a long time to develop. Chubb looked like he was running slow. As he came all the way across from the left side of Baker, a pre-snap all the way to the right side, kind of that outside zone look, and he just looked slow going into the read of that hole. Bang cut wasn't there, definitely trying to bounce it, but there wasn't really much room there either. Third and six now. Here we go. Come on, Browns. Be smart. Take her back to pass. Across the middle. He's got his man. That's Taewon Taylor again. So Taewon Taylor has had a nice game, and he is getting every single snap that Rashard Higgins got. <laughs> Basically, as far as six catches. As he is the third. He is the third. Uh, rated receiver on this roster now after the trade again Madden thought fairly highly of him Jayon Brown with the tackle one of the middle linebackers here in this Mike Vrabel 3-4 defense blitz coming they're going to pick it up that's Beckham he's got some room go Bex go makes a man no he just gets tripped I thought he made that man miss Logan Ryan just trips him up and Odell Beckham finally gets a chance to break free a little bit. Again, a healthy Odell Beckham's probably going to make 2019 even more successful than Kisten Stefanski. Double tight end. Turn around left side. Stretch it. Run into the defensive back and then get chased down by the linebacker. So not an overly inspiring run call there on first down. That stretch to the left side. Just nobody home to pick up those blockers there. You see Demetrius Harris missing it, but they were zone blocking because those guys getting upfield trying to find somebody. They just needed to go a little bit more horizontally with their first couple of steps, I think. Try to give some lanes for Chubb to bang through. Good. 180. Four. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Back to pass, Baker, he's going to fire it across the middle. He's got his man, that's caught. And that's Taewon Taylor again now. Seven catches for Taewon Taylor here in week one, 2019. What could have been if Stefanski had been hired instead of Kitchens? They're going to dump it off. That's Josh Adams. He's the third running or the fourth running back on the team that I picked up off of free agency to back up in more running situations. For, Kareem, or, uh, for Nick Chubb with Kareem Hunt having to miss eight games. 
So he's basically our Mr. Johnson, but he's more of a power back. And Hilliard's still in there. Welcome, TT. Let's go, Bakes, indeed. There's Josh Adams, left side. He's going to get two. Second and seven. Three-step drop for Baker. He's going to fire. He's got Beckham. Touchdown. Finally, it works. Finally, Beckham has some space. And then it turns into an easy touchdown for the Browns. They bring this thing to a one-score game now. Don't look now. We got a football game here. Odell Beckham. Good to see number 13 back on the field again. Missed him all of 2022 after the trade for Fletcher Cox. Seibert's kick is up. Seibert's kick is good. 33-27 now. A couple of minutes left in the third quarter. Rays, welcome. Welcome to our what could have been had they hired Stefanski and his scheme and his staff and his playbook instead of Freddie Kitchens. Replay of the 2019 season, which will hopefully get us ready for the the release of Madden 21 and our 2020 sim that will accompany the real regular season here on Nagy on Sports. I sure hope they do view. I hope they both ball out hard. All right, here we go. Marcus Mariota, he's been sacked five times by Miles Garrett alone. Once by Ogunjobi, he's gonna roll out of it. He's gonna go out on the boot and he's gonna get taken down very quickly. TJ Carey, good tackle there on the receiver. Mariota now out of the shotgun five and out in the package goes to Lenny Walker again on that previous catch, by the way. He's gonna float it deep left side. Tipped, almost picked. Terrence Mitchell, nice play on the back end. Money Mitch knocks it away. AKA, welcome. Got him again, pulls out, and they picked up again by alignment. You gotta be kidding me. Three strip sacks and not a single one of them can be recovered by the Browns. Ridiculous. This one's Sheldon Richardson though, nice play for him. You gotta be kidding me. Three strip sacks and all three of them gonna get picked up by the Titans. Oh, AK, are you a uh, Titans fan? Actually, 615, yep. Welcome, we are replaying the 2019 Browns season if they had not hired Freddie Kitchens. Everything else is pretty much the same. So they're gonna punt this one away, Brett Kern. That's what we do here on this channel, Titan, or uh, Titan Up, James 615. We simulate Browns football. It's our 57th game doing it back to 2019 yeah the defense is but gosh how can we not get a fumble recovery it's mind numbing all right here we go ace formation here Baker under center that's right there should have been Sim he's gonna throw it left side it's just a little bit late Demetrius Harris catches it but he steps out of bounds after three yards look at Baker 28 of 34 over 300 yards passing Kishin we will probably do it, what is today, Tuesday? I'll probably do the drawing like Friday of this week. Again, our final drawing of, um, we did giveaways all through the 2022 season. This last one is a Jim Brown jersey, so we'll wait for anyone else interested to comment on the video, and then we will do the drawing probably a Thursday or Friday of this week. Back to pass. Baker, he's going to throw it deep left side. He's got Beckham. It's tipped, and it's caught by Beckham. He's going to go. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Browns. What a crazy play. 77 yards. It was tipped by the defender. Look at this play. The defender tries to pick it. It bounces off his hands right into Beckham's hands. Touchdown, Browns. What a play. That was crazy. He definitely stayed in bounds. Good camera work there. Beckham's always got sweet kicks. That was awesome. Defender stretched out for the pick and it just bounces off his hands into OBJ's hands. 77 yards. Baker's going to have over 400 yards passing. 
Kick is up and it's good. Browns take the lead, 34-33, let's go. That was super wacky. What a play. <laughs> we have seen some crazy things. We have, I mean, kudos to Madden for putting in those little funny wrinkles at times. Like, obviously some of them piss us off because like, they're not real, but like sometimes it's like, I mean, that could happen in football. That's a crazy play. Yes, yeah, Cyber does kind of look creepy. They, he already, Madden made him. He was already in the game. Suddenly we're in it to win it. Gosh, it feels like, what were we down? 30 to 14, I think. 24 to three run here. Yeah, that was a pretty weak throw. We got super lucky. Cross the middle, he's got Corey Davis. He's gonna get ripped down. That's right, Freddie. <laughs> hey, if the Titans end up winning the game and it's like 40 to 34 or something like that, it'd be like, oh man, our defense has got to shore some things up. But boy, can this offense score. <laughs> Back to pass, Mariota, he's got time. He's gonna roll to the right, he's gonna throw across the middle. He's got a wide open man. That's Tajay Sharp again, and he is a little nicked up on the tackle there from Demarius Randall. Tajay Sharp over on the sideline, so at least he's not out for the game. 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Man, this has been a long game, a score fest. Back to pass, Mariota is going to sling it right side into traffic, but it's caught by Humphreys. What a play. Adam Humphreys, he is a good weapon here for the Tennessee Titans, and he caught that thing. And look at that, five for 101, and he caught that thing in the middle of traffic. Really good coverage. Who was that? They did a little out and up. Oh, it was Morgan Burnett who was right with him. Just right on him. I haven't seen Greedy yet. I haven't seen him. He's the third corner behind Money Mitch and Denzel. He should be in there. I can put him ahead of Money Mitch if you want. I don't care. I don't care. Back to pass. Let's come in again. He's hit as he throws. He's going to get it out to Henry on the left side. And Schobert knocks him out right at the sticks. He's going to be a yard short. That's the end of the first quarter. Or fourth quarter, third quarter. Look at that. Third quarter, 20 to 3. Browns outscoring the Titans to get themselves right back in this football game. In our 2019, what could have, should have, maybe could have happened if the Browns had not hired Freddie Kitchens. Right up the middle, Derrick Henry. That one was predictable. Gosh, Derrick Henry's been a machine. They kind of have him how I would imagine Nick Chubb should be. Like, he just ran, runs dude over. Was he? Okay, well, in the game, he is still, uh, Jack, he is still, um, Money Mitch is rated a little bit higher than Greedy, but I can put, uh, I can put, um, Greedy in at second. I'm totally fine with that. And I remember that too, but I couldn't remember if that's because Denzel got nicked or something. How I couldn't remember. So anyway, fine with it. So let it be written. So let it be done. We're all about the people here in Young Sports. Big stretch left. Randall, nice one-on-one -on -one tackle for Demarius Randall. He was a good safety, just not a top three paid safety, and that's why he go. Third and seven inside handoff. Henry's got room. He's going to fall forward. He's right at it. He's going to just spin on the spot. He's short. Fourth and one. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, Tamarius did do a lot of talking for sure. So they're going to hold it to another field goal here. Fifth field goal of the game for Ryan Suckup. His kick is up. His kick towards the dog pound is good. So 13-15 left. Browns down two here in week one of 2019. Browns, Titans, as we sim with what might have happened. And I'm fine with that. I And I am, would be the same way. He still has a hidden dev trait in this game as well, so we'll get him some reps. Maybe he'll pop as a star, a superstar for us before this season ends. That would be fun. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
All right. Plenty of time. Just run the ball, run the offense here. Baker, he's got to be over 400 yards passing. If not, he's got to be real darn close to 400. Welcome, Tiffany. Here we go, Brownies, indeed. Cross the middle. That was batted down by Rashawn Evans. Dangerous pass to Najoku across the middle. Whew, that was scary. Back to pass. Baker, he's got time. He's going to go left side. It's caught right at the sideline. They're going to say he got his toes in. That's Odell Beckham over there on that sideline now. 413 and four TDs for Baker. Maybe if he had gone for, ooh, I think he did drag that second toe. Maybe if he had gone for 413 and four touchdowns in week one of the real 2019 season. Tennessee's gonna challenge. The previous play is under review. Let's see what happens. I, I'm pretty sure he got both toes in. That's okay, Brown Brown Smash. We're glad you're here. I hope you got to watch the Super Bowl. It was a good one. We're glad you're here for our what could have happened if they had actually hired Stefanski instead of Freddie Kitchens with Stefanski's playbook and scheme. They're going to call it. Tennessee loses the timeout. Miss challenge there. Vrabel got a little excited. Great toe drag for Beckham. Across the middle. That's DeValve. He's going to get like four, maybe three. Baker, 31 of 38 for 417. The Kevin Stefanski offense. <laughs> Back to pass again. Not sure why we keep throwing the football. There's Taewon Taylor, right side. He's got the first down. Not sure why we're not handing the ball off to 2-4 a little bit more. Back when life was disease-free. Amen to that, Brown Brown. Back to pass again. Baker out of the shotgun. Left side. He's going to swing it out. He's got his man up the sideline. That's Njoku. First down. Five hundred two yards of total offense now. Baker back to pass again. He's going to get sacked this time. Blitz came, but it's the defensive lineman Brett Urban with his second. He had a half sack the first time. Maybe once one too many times to the well there. Couldn't pick up the blitz. And Chris Hubbard tried to block two guys, and that didn't work very well. Nice blitz pickup again for Nick Chubb. Very good at that. Uh, Sean, I could. Yes, I will. I can put Mac Wilson in on some formations as well. Good play there. Najoku, a little slant from the left, making this thing a little bit more manageable. Third. But I think he means for defense because Mac Wilson is buried on the depth chart as well. Like greedy. Taewon Taylor again. Dig route from the left side. First down, Browns to the 11. What a play there. Taewon Taylor is having a game. I don't know if I should put Higgins above him or not. He's been playing well, Taewon Taylor has. Okay, 13 personnel again. Three tight ends into the football game. Baker under center. Going to go pass again. Why won't they run the football? Oh, he's wide open. He airmailed it. Baker. Baker airmails it. This time he's going to go to the valve. He's going to lose a yard, I think. I'm calling it Prescott. That would be pretty crazy. And a pretty big middle finger to John Dorsey and Freddie Kitchens. Of course, Dorsey would take credit for building the roster. Watch out, Baker late. DP throws it away. Baker threw it away. They're going to stall out in the red zone. They like to do that from time to time. We didn't. I don't think we ran the football once that entire drive. That was crazy. Baker just slinging the rock. But we'll take it. Field goal for Seibert makes it a 37 to 36 game. What a crazy game.
Seibert kicking it away. No, this offense is not nearly as dangerous in the red zone without Hooper. We got this. Even without like Peoples Jones, who will be on the roster soon enough. You get Higgins out there some too. And of course the offensive line. All right, here we go. Back to pass. Across the middle, he's got his man again. It's Corey Davis. Brown's playing soft zone again. Ripped down in the middle of the field. Corey Davis a little injured after that tackle from Jannard Avery. Kishan, do you know the stadium well enough to know that that was exactly 117 row E? Because that would be impressive. Come on, defense. Let's shut him down here. Mariota shotgun. He's back to pass again. Brown's rush four. He's got time. He's going to go out of the backfield. Oh, there's A.J. Brown, the rookie. Again, he's like fourth on their depth chart, but they just lost Corey Davis, so now he's out there. Single, single, single slot, single slot. There's a 10, nine minutes to go. Pretty much here in the game. There's the spin. He's going to turn around, throw it around. It's picked by Denzel. Go. He's going to get ripped down at the 40 by Conklin, but what a player. Excuse me, Ben Jones, the center. Denzel Ward, first pick of the season. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. I believed you, though. Kish and I believe everything that you say. The most honest man that I know. Huge pick there for Ward, who also got nerfed by the end of the season, big time. Great pick there, baby. That is exactly what we needed. A healthy Beckham, five catches, a buck 40, two TDs. Is he running a wildcat? Why is he out there getting the troops rallied? All right, here we go. 9.07. Browns could have a nice long put away drive. Of course, they're starting on the 40. Still passing every single time across the middle. That's Jarvis Landry from right to left on the drag route. 37 of 46 for 473. What a crazy stat. Oh, a little RPO left side. He's got it first down to Beckham. Defense wasn't ready for that. First down, Browns to the 29, and they are still throwing the football. This is nuts. Now they're going to hand it off to Chubb right side. He's going to get ripped down after two, maybe three yards. He's got 18 carries in the game. Second and eight. Back to pass again. Firing across the middle. It's wide open to Beckham. He's got went on the dig route from right to left. Baker. <laughs> Baker might get three, four. Excuse me, might get 500 on this drive. Baker Mayfield, five yards shy of 500 bills here in this week one rematch that vaunted Kevin Stefanski offense that everybody knows is for 500 yard passers. <laughs> this is crazy. Watch the pass. This is, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're right, you're, you're right, view. We thought we would see high flying offense. Touchdown, back in the end zone. Got it, it's Njoku. His second of the game. Touchdown, Browns. What? 500 yards passing and five touchdowns for Baker in this game. What? A, this has been crazy. This has been crazy. <laughs> what is happening in a good way? I legitimately... Oh, they're going to booth review it. Come on, sir. The previous play is under review. One, two. I think he got them both in. Yeah, both of his toes are touching the ground when that ball is in his grasp. Unless they're saying he didn't have it till there, in which case he'll be out. So we'll find out. And yeah, it's a touchdown, Browns. Here we go. Cybert in to kick it. The Browns now have a seven point lead, eight upcoming. This is a pretty big kick for Cybert. And he got it. So off that 
Denzel Ward pick. The Browns take an eight point lead now, 44 to 36. Good Lord, this game has taken forever. Six yards deep. That's Batson. Not Matson, but Batson. Gonna go ahead and take an E. Hi, Brownie Elf, welcome. Welcome to our what should have been Sim of 2019 with Stefanski and his offense and his playbook with the exact same roster that Freddie Kitchens had. And right now, it's certainly been better than 43 to 13. Week one loss against the Titans was. Look at Mariota, 30 of 34 for 355. This has been crazy. The passing in this game has been nuts. Especially with Nick Chubb and Derrick Henry in the respective backfields. There he is right on cue. Ripped down by Miles Garrett, but he's going to be real close to it. They're going to give him a first down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back to pass. He's going to fire it deep left. He's got a man. Knocked away. Nice play there. Demarius Randall came over. His money Mitch had been beat on the go route on that side. And Demarius Randall came over and knocked that ball out of his hands. Nice play there. Pressure coming again. They're only rushing three. He's going to spin out of it. Now he takes off for the first time, Mariota. And he's going to get knocked down. That was Jannard Avery. That's going to be a 10-yard run on first down. First time we've seen Mariota do that today. Little spin move into the gap. And then Seibert and Christian Kirksey combine. Yeah, I'm in total agreement and within you on with you on that one, Kishin, as well. I love listening to Stefanski talk. You can just tell he's a leader of men. That one's be another close to first down. They're gonna say he got nine. That's AJ Brown again. Okay, see you, Brownie right up the middle and he's ripped down Christian Kirksey oh really awesome thank you Tony I appreciate that that means a lot yeah this is our 57th game if you're a Browns fan you got a lot of catching up to do <laughs> we're going back and doing 2019 now um, if they had hired the coach that we everybody thinks that they should have hired instead of Freddie Kitchens but we did 2020 2021 and 2022 which you saw last night so really appreciate that Tony we're trying. Across the middle. That one's picked, I think. It is. It's Ward again. Second pick for Denzel Ward. Holy smokes. Let's go, Browns. Wow. Denzel Ward again. That was a sick pick. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Appreciate it. Man. Between Miles Garrett's five sacks. And look at that one-handed pick. That was awesome. That was a sweet interception. Look at Baker. 40 of 49 for 507 and five touchdowns. Oh, man. That was a nasty interception. Gosh. That was awesome. Here we go. Nick Chubb up the middle. Breaking tackles. Falling forward. Six yards. Yeah, that's true. He might be the king of the north. Instead of just the warden. Whoa, ripped down. Wesley Woodyard, middle linebacker, rips him down hard. Now third and two. Across the middle, first down. That's Jarvis. 5-14. to be throwing. They're throwing a ball so much, which is crazy. Who is Eagle on the field? That's weird. Baker back to throw again. Caught. Najoku, sure-handed David Najoku takes a hit from the linebacker and holds on to the football. 11 catches for 105 yards. Welcome to hit the knee. Yeah, 
If the 2019 Browns can go to the Super Bowl just because of I made Stefanski his scheme and his playbook, then that's 100% on Freddie Kitchens and John Dorsey. And Anthony, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened for you getting your name in on the mini helmet. If you want the Jim Brown jersey, make sure you comment or Kit can comment on there if you want it. Make sure that we get you in there. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, who knows, View, if we had actually just left Freddie in, like just had Madden sim it, because Madden thought they were going to be decent. Madden didn't know Freddie Kitchens was going to suck. Chubb, little spin move, going to get caught up. He's going to get ripped down. Yeah, scheme may actually make a difference. Uh-oh, now Chubb's hurt. This is no bueno. Just be on the sideline, please. Please, please. Or go to the locker room. Son of a biscuit. Well. That's not ideal. Um, Tony, if you want, we're doing a giveaway jersey. Yeah, just go. Yep, yep. Kit, just put it right there in the comments for you. Just go to the comments of that giveaway number three video and just say interested and you'll be entered into the running for the um, jersey which is our third giveaway Josh Adams right up the middle can they milk the game away with Josh Adams that's right trying to trying to go find Clyde Edwards Alaire off somebody's practice squad except he hasn't been drafted yet Josh Adams, just hold on to that football, son. Here comes the boom. Here comes the boom. You're down, Rashawn Evans. Oh, stop it. This is not my fault. This is way different than me for getting to bench him in week 17 than in week one. You always got to remind me, bust my chops, Kishin. I know you're good for that. Angle, whoa, Dontrell Hilliard, he takes one of the chin. And that's going to take this clock. Luckily, it's going to get this thing down to about oh, 19 seconds, maybe. Oof, gosh, Wesley Woodyard just decapitated Dontrell Hilliard. I know you do. It's fine. I can take it. I deserve it. All right, Seibert's going to attempt to really... What are they doing? They're just going to let it run out, right? Why are they kicking this long of a field goal? you got to be kidding me. That was even close. And you're giving them the football at midfield. What are you doing? Just bang that thing out of the back of the end zone. Come on, Browns. Yeah, and we're committed to benching Hunt anyway, so maybe Hunt will have a, uh, roughly an eight-week injury, and then I can at least put him on IR and get a free free roster spot to fill. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I don't know why they had to kick that. Rushing just three, so he's going to heave it deep right side. End zone! Batted around! Incomplete. They're going to do that two more times, I bet. Gosh, that was even close. That was like a 56-yarder or something crazy. Unless there's like a 20-mile-an-hour win. I don't know why you're doing that. He's going to heave it again. Deep right side. Caught, but he's out of bounds. And then he dropped it. Tajay Sharp had it in his hands. Here it is, finally. Last of the three Hail Marys in a row. Back to pass, Miles breaks it. They're going to go quickly across the middle, and that ball is knocked away. Browns win! 44 to 36. Vrabel can't believe it. And already Kevin Stefanski is better than Freddie Kitchens by beating the Tennessee Titans in week one. Browns are going to get it done. My man, love it. Look at that, 506 passing yards, the two takeaways from Ward, the five sacks from Garrett. What a game for this Browns team, even though they gave up a lot of yards to Derrick Henry.
609 total yards, 62% on third down. Both teams very good in the red zone, but look at that. We had five TDs in the red zone. They had five field goals. I'd say that was a big difference. Time of possession almost identical. Let's look at Baker. 42 of 51 for 528 and five touchdowns. That's ridiculous. Chubb, we'll see how bad the injury is. He had 20. Hunt was going to get benched anyway, so you're going to see a lot of different guys running the football next week. Najoku, 11 for up. But look at that. Three guys over 100 yards. Taewon Taylor, Beckham, Landry with 75. Just spreading the ball all over the yard. Two touchdowns each for Beckham and Najoku. DeValve had the fifth one. Tackles today, 19 for Schobert, 16 for Kirksey, 11 for Garrett, 10 for Randall, five sacks for Miles Garrett, one for Okajobi, one for Richardson, and those two picks for Denzel. What a game. Seibert, one for three. The last one was ridiculous. I don't know what you're kicking that for. Jamie Gillen, four punch average in 58. Love that. So that's where we're at. So appreciate it. Thank you again to all the subscribers. This has been Phil Nagy. We're starting our new project, the What Should Have Been. All we have changed is Kevin Stefanski and his scheme and his playbook. Everything else is exactly the same as the 29 Bra 2019 Browns. Within reason, we'll obviously have to do some things now, like take advantage or uh, try to pick up somebody who's, um, you know, if, depending on how badly Nick Chubb is hurt, for instance, we will have to do that. So let's check out how bad it is real quick before I set you away. Come on. Chubb, broken ribs, four weeks, of course. All right, four weeks isn't awful. So we're going to put Chubb, we're going to lose Chubb for a minute. And uh, so that's where we're at. Appreciate everybody watching. That's where we are at today. Uh, got a pretty busy day tomorrow, so I'm not going to promise that we'll get to Monday night with the Jets tomorrow. But uh, certainly sometime later this week, so make sure you hit that bell, get those notifications rolling. And we will uh, we will let you know when things get a pop. And thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you. Lots of love. And as always... Go Browns!